when you decide in this video i am explaining how to handle mall records means what happened if you have any data like this what happened here you have rahul here you have ramesh but here each and everything separate by semicolon but here it's not separate by semicolon it is separate by space mistakenly he forgot to mention space this is also mistakenly mentioned space if it is not matching these records structure that is considered as a mall records in this scenario how to handle this data by default this is the problem you will get like this okay now what is my problem right now what is my problem here you are getting nulls here you are separating this data and here okay that is the problem in this scenario how to separate this data and here you have okay it is in wrong format you have here you have to mention comma uh, okay then only it is considered as correct answer okay so in this scenario i want to separate this here what is the problem somewhere you have to mention this one somewhere you have to mention this one okay that is the problem in this scenario how to handle this type of data usually modify the original data is not recommendable approach so first i want to separate this data at the time what happened at the time usually in this scenario is one important thing that is called okay data frame reader please open this data frame reader by default spark support this data uh, these data types by default it will support csv json jdbc orc all these things now this is csv now what happened i think everyone familiarizes spark read format header is equal to true separated is semi uh, semicolon or any other thing in for schema these three only most of the members use but here that example you have maximum more than 25000 column at the time use this option as well okay similarly what is this one important thing that is called mode very important what is this option what is this option okay here no by default it is permissive what is that meaning permissive means by default uh, it is showing uh, five minutes back it's displaying you know same way including corruption reports also you will get but this one drop mall form what is that meaning if it is not matching the standard what is the first row first row what is the schema you have same schema by default it is considered if it is not matching that record what happened that schema at the time it is considered as mall records so that's why you are using drop mall form at the time what happened automatically it is removed that is one approach okay so drop form drop mall form means ignore the corrupted records in case if you are using this one this option at the time automatically throw the exception but this is not throwing the exception it is even if you have that you are using this you have these options you know what is this corrupted format records what is that meaning what is that meaning wait here already you have this by default okay here only you will get this two, this three but if you are using any this option what happen
ओके एग्जाम्पल ओके स्पैन ड्रॉंग लाइक दैट आई एम गिविंग वन मोर कॉलम इज कॉल कॉलम ऑफ मॉल फॉर्म रिकॉर्ड that column name is called wrong otherwise give any name not only wrong give any name hmm what happened in this scenario this is same mall found oh sorry not drop mall in this scenario what happen what happen if you are using permissive wait if you are using permissive what happen it is displaying wrong record and this one both now in this scenario you have to give a hint to the spark what is the schema of this data schema schema of this data that means explicitly you have to specify that what the scheme in this scenario don't forget to import the types i already imported this what is the problem here here you have mall record i want to separate this in this scenario what are you doing first step create a schema to this data how to create a schema if you know programming there are many ways but i am explaining easy way best way recommended way simple sch schema is equal same data if you enter this as a schema automatically you will get that schema at that time assign this schema to this one that's it then what happen then what happen you have to give one more name right now one more name why mall records everything i want to store in one more name one more file at the time what happen wait okay new mall is equal to sch dot add add <clears throat> in this scenario uh, there are um, different ways if you don't know these things okay let me check first of all first of all i want to add this mall record in another column at the time add followed by okay a the structure field hmm structure field okay string type what are they doing you are creating one more new schema that new schema what happened these mall records everything stored in that folder that in that file that is that mean now you will get one idea wait now please check these two are correct records 
these records what happened mall records added in one more column this is that column that column name is called wrong now simple simple what happened ndf is equal to df dot a otherwise filter that records wrong is null what is that meaning is null means you will get top two records only is not null not null means you will get these records i will show you that wait hmm If you enter wrong, only that column. At the time, what happened? Now, now please check. Hmm. Now, if you select only this wrong part, similarly print a screen now. Usually, this is a little headache to be frankly. Data cleaning, mall records, unstructured data, unstructured data. In this scenario, we are using UDF. You are creating your own function and uh, automate that. Oh, here I mentioned, sorry, here I mentioned DF, not DF, NDF it is, sorry. Okay. Oh, this is what happened. If you are running like this, you are getting this type of error. Why? Usually there is no any problem. But the problem is if you want to use these type of options, trims your mode, these type of things, mode always recommendable when you want if you want to write data somewhere. Okay, especially if you want to get the corrupted record from these. Okay, first you have to, okay, you have to write this data some way. Otherwise, either save this data, otherwise catch. That's why it's suggested use catch, then use count, then do it. That is that mean. means what are you doing? Before process, before filter data like this, df dot catch df dot count okay now what happen if you want now please check you will get only wrong results okay you got it something error also don't forget that Now you got it wrong records. These records wrong. What are you doing? Now, in that example, I want to show this data. Okay. 
Now, teacher, what happened? This small record we are trying to store. Then send a mail. Attach this data. Attach this small record one. That record. In that record, you have this. Two. Send a mail to client. Hello, client. This record have, don't have proper. Somewhere you have comma. Somewhere you have semicolon like this. I want to solve these issues like that. Okay. Like that, you are solving this issue. If you have any doubts, comment below. I will try my best to answer. 